Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, my lovely alerts, and welcome back to the Narc Alert. Happy Friday. I hope you all had a great week and continue on to have a fantastic weekend. Once again tonight, as Amber isn't giving us a lot to work with, I thought we'd do a little compilation, but with a twist. We know by now that delusions of grandeur and pride are key facets to people who show traits that fall within the traits in the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder. So I thought tonight it would be interesting to look at Amber's sense of pride. There is nothing wrong with being proud and authentic pride is usually based on accomplishments and it stems from a sense of personal satisfaction in that accomplishment. This type of pride is often accompanied by honest feelings of a selfless attitude, engagement in ethical or moral behavior, and a positive affect. In contrast, narcissists often possess hubristic pride. Hubristic pride is linked to some not so great outcomes like impulsivity and aggression in seeking power and dominance. It's more a distorted and boastful sense of self, and it tends to lead to a less likable impression in the eyes of other people. So let's have a look at Amber Lynn's sense of pride. Do you think it's authentic or hubristic? And I'm very proud of myself, and I'm never proud of myself. Um. I'm just not, but I am. I'm never proud of myself. Never, n n never proud of myself. <laughs> but I'm really proud of myself. Why I'm proud of my girlfriend is norm. My girlfriend isn't a copycat. That's like a really horrible way to say it. But she tends to follow in my direction more. Um, if I was to mess up on my diet, she would too. Um, but even though I. I, I was making the, um, you know, the movement to get more stir fry. She said, no, I don't want any, which eh, in the long run helped us both. And I'm just really proud of us both because, um, I have nothing to give myself really. I mean, I just, I'm proud of what I do. I, I, I'm normally not really proud of myself, but lately I have been and, that could be in a reward, me being proud of myself because I really never am. I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my girlfriend. I'm proud of you guys. And I hope, I hope, I hope more than anything that I am inspiring you. Oh God, no, I never hope. Hope is pouting in advance. Hope is Faith's richer, bitchier sister. Hope is the deformed, addict-bound, incest monster offspring of entitlement and fear. I'm so proud of myself because sometimes it's not what the scale says, it's what your heart says, and my heart is proud. So, and I am so proud of myself. I have not done this good in so long, and I want to just continue. You guys, I'm just doing really good, and I'm proud of myself. I'm, a, I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of you that I succeeded in not giving in to my head that wanted that candy so bad I'm just really proud of myself I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of everything that I'm doing Ugh, I'm really proud so I'm not gonna let this downfall ruin my whole everything I'm not gonna I made great choices this week so I'm very proud of myself and yeah so I just wanted to kind of update you guys so and I'm just very, very <coughs> proud of myself. Many of you would be like, okay, you shouldn't eat that anyway. No, this is my journey. And what I ate is an amazing accomplishment. And nobody is going to take that away from me. I'm very proud of myself. I'm just like beyond proud of myself. Days that I know I can do it, I want to do it. Um, so I'm just like really really proud of myself. Yesterday I got back on track, went to the gym, ate perfectly, so proud of myself. And my overall, I am down 43.0 pounds. I feel like I should always, always keep that in mind and be proud of myself even though 
I have gone through a lot and I have failed multiple times, but I have lost 43.0 pounds now, so I just need to learn how to keep it off. Um, I do bring up when I lost 89 pounds a lot because it was a big significant time in my life. I can't believe I ever did it and I'm so proud of myself, but I officially have a job. Is it gonna work out? I freaking hope so. Like, I officially have a job. Ah! Like, I'm so proud of myself. It appears there is a difference in the pride she feels while talking about her job. This feels like genuine pride which follows accomplishment as opposed to the self-aggrandizing pride we usually see following a day's success at weight loss. But I've never been number one, and I was number one today. Like, way number one. Like, way number I was number one. I was so proud of myself. So many people congratulated me. It just made me feel awesome and kind of made me reevaluate. And I was like, you know what? I like this job. I'm not really gonna quit, but it's just the hours are frustrating. But yeah, please be proud of me. I am proud of myself. Like, I am good at what I do and I'm fast. Like, yes, I'm finally fast at something. Like, you have to be fast at this job. Like, girl, mm, girl. <laughs> and I'm really doing it. And I'm very proud of myself. I'm just, I'm very, very proud of myself. But I don't know, proud of myself for the weirdest things, but you know. A delicious broccoli. I actually cook this from scratch. Usually I do frozen, but this is fresh, so I'm very proud of myself. Today will be day two of successfully doing my calories, and I'm just very proud of myself. And I know that eat what you want while counting calories. That's going to be the most manageable. There's no reason to try and stick to a completely new way of eating so early on. And that's exactly what I told you guys. And then I was like, okay, I'm actually going to start tomorrow, not Monday. So I was proud of myself that I was going to jump on that bandwagon even before Monday comes along. And I don't know. My goal is to just drink water. Right. I'm proud of myself. Don't I have diet soda in the fridge? Yeah. I literally didn't drink a single one yesterday. I drank nothing but water. Do you have a bottle in there that I bought like three days ago? Really? Mm-hmm. I have to sip on that still was successful in that and I'm very proud of myself it just shows that if 90% of the time I am making healthy choices like I've been doing so good I am like obsessed with doing good and I'm just so proud of myself I just want to say this because I'm rather proud of myself usually when I have company over and we're like playing games or just like having a really good time I'll always order pizza eat a bunch of pizza and eat a bunch of sides and I also order dessert and I have soda and ew <laughs> like it's like this whole thing and you know what I did? You know what I did? I literally ate carrots. I just ate carrots. I sat there with my little bag of carrots and I just ate carrots. I feel so good about that. I don't, I don't know why. It's just like the little freaking things in life. Hey guys, here we are for day eight weigh-in. I must say, I'm rather proud of myself because I have been doing it for every day. So here we go. Good night. 564.0 pounds. 564.0! Ooh, I really hope I don't pronounce this wrong. Deniswell Swan. She was even proud one time when she's gained. I'm still so proud of myself. For what? I don't remember that ever happening, so if it did happen, I do apologize. I should never be proud of that. Let's be and I just feel, I don't want to say I feel proud of myself because I hate saying that because I should only be proud of myself if I'm losing weight. But I wanna say that I am becoming proud of myself. You are there tonight. Because I really am, I, like I feel so different. I'm proud of myself and the choices I've been making lately. And I haven't had like candy or sweets and actually it's been a hot minute. For me, it's been a hot minute, and I'm just like thoroughly proud of that. So, carbs, it was so good. And I was actually very proud of myself. I mean, people can say what they want. What is chaos for the fly might not be chaos for the bee. So something I wanted to try doing different was just not weighing myself on camera until I got to a point where I was like, wow, I'm proud. Because sometimes I'd weigh in and be like, whoa, I'm down three pounds, yay. Like, that's stupid. For someone my size, that's not yay. 
that's not something to be proud of, TBH. You guys, I can promise you I am losing weight and I'm actually doing really good and I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like, I know I say that so much. Like, in the past, I'd be down like seven pounds and be like, I'm so proud. I mean, seven pounds is a start, but I promise you, I just promise, okay? That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. I do not reward myself because, um... I have nothing to give myself really I mean I just I'm proud of what I do I, I I'm normally not really proud of myself but lately I have been and um, I mean that could be in a reward me being proud of myself because I really never am but lately I really am and I'm just I'm very happy with where I'm at right now and how well I'm doing and I hope more than anything my mind frame stays like this because it just it feels great to be back on track again Alexa what is 20 times 24 20 times 24 is 480 I have said no 480 times okay I'm proud of myself Hmm. You did the damn thing, baby. Well, what do you think? Is it hubristic pride or is it authentic? I'll leave it up to you. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, you might want to click on this video right here. It's kind of fun, too. Don't forget to pick up a channel membership or subscribe if you're not subscribed. The membership gets you in that Discord that you've heard so much about. Gosh, we have fun in there. Until we meet again, don't forget to be kind and hasta luego.